Hi, this is Shadi, and today we're gonna see some of the techniques that could have entered the Aikido curriculum and how it could have made Aikido far more richer. Very similar to how Tomiki got some of the Aikido techniques into a Judo kata, but today we're gonna see how Minoru Mochizuki wanted to contribute to the art of Aikido and make it far more richer. So, first, let's take a look at some of the principles that he has been working on so obviously you've seen the hand grab of aikido but this is something that actually does happen and from there you can uh, integrate a lot of aikido and judo movements uh, alike so first let's take a look at kokyunage this is a very basic throw in aikido however it does have its uh, merit so here you see shinjiro sasaki uh, trying to pull it off, which is very doable in Randori. Uh, he calls it a one arm sode, but I don't see involvements of the hips, so I would call it maybe a sumiotoshi, perhaps. But here you see a shomenuchi attack and finish with a hip lock and an o sotogari finish. It is absolutely brilliant and it would make Aikido far more richer. So first let's take a look at the attack of Uke. So it's called a Shomen Uchi. It's a downward strike. It can be a bottle, it can be a club or back in the day a sword. So you can go from the back or you can go to the front on the side. And here finish with O Sotogari, one of Judo's most famous throws. So you rip the leg from the outside. but you hold uh, the hips as you're doing it and you dive with them. So next is, is an attack. Let's see it one more time actually. O Sotogari. And now here, this gets very interesting. So he attacks, he gets to his blind side. Let's see it again, very slowly. So he attacks with a ski or a thrust and from there, he wraps his lapel around him from the back. And then goes for a Yoko Wakare. But the way he set up his hands actually gets him in a great position for Kata Ha Jime or a single wing strangle. So uh, first, let's see the ski. It's your basic thrust. You see it in karate as well. It can be a stab. It can be anything. But... It's a line of attack that you need to understand. It's very basic, but it needs to be understood. So, Yoko Wakare. Uh, unless someone is really charging and really in the move, this work, this uh, technique, it's very hard to apply. So, as you saw, he was charging towards him. He wrapped his hands on his lapel and then threw him with this, landing in a great position for a strangle. So, this is Yoko Wakare, uh, very rarely done in competition and for a reason. So here you see it. There's many variations to it, but um, this is the basic form that you need to understand. You go to the side and then you disconnect. So this is Kata Hajime where you grab the lapel deep and then you half Nelson the arm and into a strangle so let's see it again one more time slowly so he goes in for a thrust goes behind him wraps the lapel and underhooks the arm so he can get into a great strangle after the yoko wakare now this one is brilliant this is tani otoshi off of a ski or a thrust laces the arm or threads the arm and then grabs the leg and dives backwards this is a sutemi waza or a sacrificing technique so there are various forms of tani otoshi uh, a lot of people choose the most dangerous one and the false one rather than all the good variations so this is the basic form where you actually pull them down and then flatten your leg behind them it's not blocking them because this will snap your knee or their knee so the grip can change, but the principle remains the same. You actually go behind them, block, and then you pull them down with you. 
backwards. The grip can vary, obviously, and in the in the past it was far more richer because of the leg grabs variations. So here you go for uh, the knee pick, and then you finish it with Tani Otoshi. So again, back in the day, it was far more richer. Now let's take a look at the variation that was done in the demonstration that we just saw. So here he threads, grabs the leg, and then goes for Tani Otoshi. Very effective, and it makes it far more explosive and far more effective, in my opinion. But notice how the leg is flat on the ground for safety. And here is a great Sumigayashi. He almost makes you think that he is going for a Kawazugake, but he actually goes for a Sumigayashi on the far leg and throws him brilliantly done. So, Sumigayashi, I'm sure a lot of people know this, especially Jiu-Jitsu people. Um, it's a sacrificing technique, but your shin goes on the inner thigh and then you project them forward. You can go to the side, as you just saw in the demonstration, which is far more effective in my opinion and uh, far more explosive. Here it is being done off of an Uchimata stab and thrown to the side, much like the demonstration. So, Sumigayashi, a lot of people do it wrong, much like Tani Otoshi, but if you do it correctly, it is a very devastating technique. So, here you see, again, more Yoko Wakare and here with the sword with a Kokyunage and another one here, a wrist lock off of a knife, this arm. Now, another thing that I really like about Aikido is this particular practice. They call it randori. So, obviously this is, you know, Uke and Tori working with each other and taking a fall, but the principle I truly admire. So, when there is multiple opponent, when there is chaos, it's not about winning, it's about increasing your chances of survival. You want it to go from 0 to 10%, which is still very great. And notice what he's doing. He's constantly on the move and constantly twisting his hips, uh, keeping an eye on them and pushing them onto each other. And that's very important. Now, he's, take, he's doing some artsy things like ducking down and letting them uh, fall over and, uh, you know, doing some type of stuff but the principle remains the same and that's a very important practice for self-defense is to be constantly on the move constantly pushing them against each other and not be a sitting duck basically and it will increase your chances of survival so um, it's a shame that all these techniques could have been uh, incorporated into Aikido now it's being basically boiled down into the basics so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening